So this is the hole that was dug to put in our septic. We are going to be putting in an aerobic system because of the lake behind us. Some of the restrictions for our standard drip system. This isn't going to work, so we had to go aerobic. This is the hole that was dug for the tank to be put in. I believe they did this 6 feet wide by 15 feet long. And it's a pretty good size hole. Just some fill dirt at the bottom to level it out. I'm waiting for them to deliver the tank today. First step in getting our septic. All right, and there's the tank. They got here earlier than I did this morning. So they already had the tank put in. Now I've got to put three quarters of the way up with water. So that's what that hose is doing over there. It's filling this thing up. Every chamber has to be pretty much full all the way down to the last chamber. It needs to be three quarters of the way full. So I'm filling that up now. And they've got to, of course, come back and finish setting everything up. we got to put in lines for the sprinklers, which is this little hose here. And then they've got to put the inlet into this. Here's a view from the other side. So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to come check it back in another hour. Check it out. We've got basically step two and three done today. Step two was to get the lines put in and the sprinklers, which we have here. And step three was to get the county to come out and check it out. And they came out and approved the tank and everything. They got to come out one more time after we get all of this hooked up and check the alarms and the sprays, things like that. And that's it. Then we're done. So let's go check out the rest of it. All right. And here's the inlet pipe that's going to go into the septic. They're just going to put a clean out on this so we can connect into it later. And here is the rest of the tank. The risers are on. The pipes for the bubbler and the pump are in. You can see where this is the sprinkler line connection here. It goes into the last chamber. And we're all ready to go. It's trenched here. They went to get the conduit and everything for the electricity. So the electricity should be ran pretty soon. And that runs the pump at the end that runs the sprinklers. Well, and it also runs the aerator, which goes through that hole right there. And there's a stone in the bottom of the tank there that frees the air into that tank. And then that's what that platform is there, that concrete platform. And that is to protect the pump, the air pump. And then there's a little control box. That's it. Super excited to have this done. All right, they ran the conduit now up to the breaker box and lines put in. Everything's covered up. Now we just have to wait for the final inspection. All right, so they definitely got it covered in time. We got rain last night, a good amount of rain too. So they were able to cover it and smooth all the dirt out around it, as you can see. But as you can also see, we got a decent amount of rain that came in around these risers and the breather and everything over there. So now they have to finish hooking up the controller and the breather and everything in that concrete box and run it for the final inspection. And that's it. That's what we're waiting on next. These are our two clean out areas for the hookups. So the one closest is just the close clean out. And then that one is just another extension to where we're going to connect to. It is really windy out here today. Hope this comes out well, but we got our final approval from the county and everything is finally all hooked up. There's the control box right here. The little aerator, the breather is right here. This is the final tank that has the quote unquote clean water that gets sprayed. That little black thing on the top is the chlorine feeder. You put the bleach or chlorine, whatever it is you buy to put in there. And then of course, here's the three chambers. They did have to come back and put some taller risers on this because they thought there was gonna be more slope than there really was. So these three risers here are all the same height. And then this riser is a little bit shorter because, you know, they, there is a slope here and this actually worked out. But I'm glad they had the risers here because it was uh, looking like it was going to be a spot where water would stay. But yeah, all of the ground has been leveled out the best it can. And we're ready to go. 
we finally have septic. All right, so I hope y'all liked the video. If you did, please subscribe. We got all kinds of stuff coming to the channel. Everything we do, we're going to try to document as we put together our tiny home out here and get this property ready to live on. Y'all take care.